Successfully dealing with the Internal Revenue Service is about knowing the laws and procedures that IRS employees must follow and effectively leveraging that knowledge. Attorney Tony Ramos has been helping taxpayers deal with the IRS since 1989, and today, his law practice is dedicated solely to resolving tax debt for his clients. If you want to learn how to deal with the IRS to settle your tax debt in your best interest, keep listening. If you want a free consultation with Tony Ramos, go to TonyRamosLaw.com slash relief. Hello, uh, folks out there in Facebook land. This is uh, tax debt relief attorney Tony Ramos, and I'm going to talk about IRS uh, basic payment plans. And if this is some, of some interest to you, uh, you can contact me by uh, commenting on the post of this uh, Facebook uh, uh, post, or you can go to my website, TonyRamosLaw.com. And remember, this this information is for general advice. Don't consider it. Uh, don't consider it uh, legal advice. So the the IRS offers four basic plans: automatic, streamlined, regular, and partial pay. The automatic uh, you can get by just going to irs.gov. Uh, you don't need a lawyer, this is pretty simple. If you owe $10,000 or less, and in the last five years you did not uh, owe the IRS back taxes, and you've not had uh, an installment agreement uh, with the IRS before, you have 36 months to pay, and uh, they don't file a tax lien, and it's pretty simple to do. So if you owe $10,000 or less, uh, you have a guaranteed uh, plan, payment plan. Now, the IRS calls payment plans installment agreements, so I can use those terms interchangeably. Um, now, there's, there's a small fee to set this up, and you don't have to provide any financial information. So that's the basic uh, guaranteed installment agreement or payment plan. The next one is a streamlined installment agreement, and this is uh, for for, for taxpayers who owe 50000 or less, although the IRS right now has a, a pilot pro program, you can even owe up to $100,000 or less. Also, in the last five years, you did not owe taxes, and uh, you have not had an installment agreement set up with them. Now, if you owe $50,000 or less, you have, uh, again, this is streamlined, meaning you don't have to provide any financial information. If you've got uh, money saved up, you've got money in a 401k, or an IRA, or you have an extra house, it doesn't matter, IRS doesn't care about that. So long as you can fully pay your debt in six years, 72 months, and uh, you either have a payroll deduction or uh, automatic draft, what's called a direct debit installment agreement to take the money right out of your bank account. And the good news is they won't file a federal tax lien against you. Now, if you don't agree to a payroll deduction or a direct debit installment agreement, you will have a federal tax lien filed. Now, this other plan, uh, also considered streamlined, you can owe up to $50,000 or less, and you have seven years, 84 months to pay, as opposed to just six years to pay. And uh, again, uh, the problem is between 50 and 100,000, you will have a federal tax lien filed against you. Uh, <clears throat> but um, again, you don't have to disclose any financial information to the IRS to get this. Then, uh, what we would, what the IRS would call a regular installment agreement. It's not streamlined. It's not guaranteed, and they require uh, uh, f financial information. Uh, the IRS has forms, uh, collection information statements. They want to know all about your assets, your liabilities, your income, and your expenses. And so, if you, uh, this is to determine your ability to pay. If you don't qualify for the for the streamlined, then you're going to have to go with a regular installment agreement. And this is a lot more work because uh, you have to fill out their forms, disclose all your assets, liabilities, income and expenses. Now, if you have assets that uh, the IRS considers you could sell or finance, borrow against, they're gonna want you to do that. Uh, also, uh, you're gonna have to have proof, you know, bank statements, receipts, contracts, and that sort of thing. It's a lot more work. But if there's anything good about dealing with the IRS, it's based on your ability to pay and not so much on how much you owe. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to determining how much you owe, the IRS has something called uh, national and local standards. And now, those standards are a little bit difficult to, to live with, up to. In other words, 
it's not easy to to live off the the amounts that they say so um, it may be a little bit uh, difficult uh, for you to live with what they say but um, once you go through this process you have to pay uh, over a period of time uh, before the the ten-year collection period what they call a collection statute expiration date so normally the IRS has ten years to collect there are some exceptions. If you file bankruptcy, if you leave the country for six months or more, if you file for a collection due process hearing, it, it can extend the 10 years. But as a general rule, you can get a, a regular installment agreement based on your ability to pay so long as it's, it fully pays off uh, before the expiration of the 10 years. <clears throat> and before I forget, if, if, if this is of interest to you and uh, you'd like to talk to me about it with a free consultation, Either go to my website, TonyRamosLaw.com, or uh, somewhere on this post, uh, well, we'll give you a, a number, or just comment on this post, rather, instead of, uh, we'll give you a number. I'm putting a link on the post. Okay, uh, Ruben, my marketing guy, is going to put a, a, a link on the post for that. Now, if you can't uh, qualify for, for the guaranteed or the streamlined, or the regular, the regular requires full pay, 100%. Oh, and by the way, with a regular, you will get a lien filed against you. Now, once you get it under $25,000, uh, there's, there's a way to get the lien removed. And then lastly, if you can't full pay, uh, there is such a thing as, as a partial pay installment agreement. And the reason it's called partial pay is because uh, you're not before the 10-year statute of limitations runs out, the collection period for the IRS runs out, you're not going to pay it completely. That's why it's called partial pay. Uh, also requires full financial disclosures and so you end up paying less than enough to pay off uh, all of your taxes. Now before I forget, going back to the um, to the uh, uh, regular installment agreement, or no, the streamlined installment agreements, the 50000 and the 100000 that's based on the assessed uh, taxes, penalties and interest. Once the taxes have been assessed, the accruals don't uh, are not the, the 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 amount that the IRS looks at. So let's assume you had forty nine thousand dollars with penalties and interest, and then the IRS assesses you that that uh, that liability, and then over time you go way beyond fifty thousand. You would still qualify for the six year um, installment agreement streamline, and then likewise with the IRS with a hundred thousand. If the assessed amount is 100000 or less, you still qualify. Now, going back to, to the partial pay, so the IRS won't allow you just to pay a lesser amount uh, forever. They'll look at your tax returns every year or two to see if you can afford to pay more. And if you can afford to pay more, uh, they'll ask you to pay more. Uh, by the same token, if, you, if things get worse for you and you can't even pay that, you can go back and renegotiate down. So... Uh, like I said before, if, if this is of interest to you, comment on the post or go to my website. Now, a couple of more comments. Uh, we, we're, talking, we're talking about the IRS standards, what they allow for living expenses, what they call national standards, local standards on, in certain categories. There's something called the one-year rule. When your actual expenses exceed uh, the IRS standards for allowable uh, living expenses, they'll give you... Uh, up to one year to adjust. For example, let's say uh, you have a car payment that is $600 a month and the IRS only allows $507. Well, they're going to make you, uh, they're only going to give you credit for $507, but after, with a one year rule, they'll let you have credit for the, the $600, and then after a year, they're going to knock you down to $507. You don't necessarily have to sell the car, but that's all they're going to allow uh, for you to spend on, on purchasing the car. Now, you can, in, in this kind of uh, installment agreement, you would pay a lesser amount for a year and then you would uh, raise it to fit with the IRS allowed uh, living expenses. Now, you have to demonstrate that you're going to uh, fully pay your, your liability to the IRS completely to qualify for the one year rule. And then there's something called the six year rule. If you don't qualify for a streamlined installment agreement, uh, you go to the regular, you, you need to provide financial information, and your living expenses can exceed the IRS allowed standards. So long as you full pay within six years, 
and you remain compliant. In other words, in the future, you don't fall behind anymore in taxes. You file your returns on time. So that's a six year rule. Now, finally, a comment on, on default. So all of these uh, installment agreements require that you don't fall behind anymore. So if, if you, for example, had an a installment agreement made today, and next year, when you file 2019 taxes, you file a tax return on time, but you owe money, you've just defaulted on your installment agreement, they will send you a notice of intent to terminate, and they'll give you a little bit of time to catch up, but if you don't catch up, you're back to square one and you have to renegotiate or be subject to IRS uh, collection uh, efforts like levying your bank account, garnishing your wages, and seizing property. Um, so if, if uh, any of this is of interest to you and you think that I can uh, perhaps help, help you, I offer you a free consultation. Either comment on the post here or go to my website, TonyRamosLaw.com, and we'll talk to you soon. And uh, good talking to you today. For more episodes about IRS tax relief, go to TaxReliefAcademy.com.